Uh, welcome. There is a question here we want to try and give it the, the answer. How can I know the order of reagents I use like in 2017 style? So this is the question that came on, on uh, 2017. This was the question, question 2, 2017. You were provided with solid K, aqueous ammonia, uh, aqueous sodium sulfate, dilute nitric 4 acid, and then a wooden, a wooden sprint. I, so we want to answer this question uh, somebody is asking. How can I know which reagent comes first? So remember, in using uh, in in this practical, we need a we need a liquid which we must put uh, or a solution that we will put into a test tube, and then into a test tube we will add the reagents that are provided. So ammonia is the reagent. This is the reagent, and this is another reagent. A wooden sprint is used to test for uh, carbon. We can use this one to test carbon dioxide. Now that we have a carbonate, the first thing we will do is to react a carbonate, lead carbonate, plus nitric acid. So we, that we can form a solution which is lead, nitrate, plus carbon-4, plus water. So the carbon-4 oxide will extinguish the wooden sprint. So we have used the wooden sprint. The, this now this is the liquid which is the mixture of water and lead nitrate it is the one we are going to divide and then use it using the reagents now the order of the reagents you must know where if we have sodium hydroxide we have ammonium solution ammonium hydroxide so these two you cannot interchange them the first one will always be sodium hydroxide followed by ammonia solution in this case 2017 we had ammonia solution so ammonia solution sodium sulfate there's no way sodium sulfate can come before ammonia solution so the first test always as you can check uh, other questions sodium hydroxide is the first one followed by ammonia solution and then the other reagents comes so be aware that the first reagent that is always there the first one is sodium hydroxide the second is ammonia solution. If sodium hydroxide is not there, then ammonia will be the first solution. Right? So, for example here, the first we are going to use a nitric acid as the first test, reacting with the carbonate to give us lead nitrate. Then the, the second test, we are going to use a reagent ammonia. Right? And then the third one we are going to use sodium sulfate. So I don't know whether I've answered this question. How do you know the order of the reagents? I have said sodium hydroxide will always be the first one, followed by ammonia solution. Followed by ammonia solution. Uh, in this case, we needed a solution. You need a solution in a test tube in order to add ammonia. You cannot add ammonia solution to a solid. Therefore, we must we had to prepare a solution by reacting dilute nitric acid with the lead carbonate, therefore making a solution, and that's why it became the first one in the test. So in this one, solid decay was in a test tube and we added dilute nitric acid. What we wanted is the solution, right? We need a solution in order we can use that solution in the second the, the second test. So there is no way we could uh, I use a, a solid in the second set test. Therefore, we needed a solution. How, how could we get a solution? We using the reagents provided. We needed to dissolve nitric acid uh, or react nitric acid with lead carbonate, and it will give us the solution, like I have explained, and then use the solution. So let me also give you another another example here, so that you can see or you can. Uh, so please let us check this. We are provided with the following solid M. Aqueous lead nitrate, distilled water, aqueous sodium hydroxide, aqueous ammonia. So these are the reagents we have been given. Solid M is suspected to be zinc sulfate. Zinc sulfate. So from the reagents provided, select and describe four tests that could be carried out consecutively to confirm if solid M is zinc sulfate. So 
the first thing we need to do is to to get this the solution of zinc sulfate so that's why we have distilled the water so in the first one you need to to form a solution so you say to solid m in a test tube in a test tube add about 10 centimeters cube of distilled water of distilled water so by that you have formed a solution and then keep the solution keep the mixture that is a solution actually the solution for test three four two three and four so here you need to tell us expected of whether the solid will dissolve towards the solid dissolves because we know all solvents are soluble so zinc sulfate will dissolve dissolve to form a colorless solution now you could ask yourself what would it be test two test three and then test four which one are you going to use am i going to use sodium hydroxide ammonia solution lead nitrate you cannot use lead nitrate before using sodium hydroxide. You cannot use sodium hydroxide. You cannot use ammonium solution, ammonia solution before using sodium hydroxide. So the next test, this is test number one, followed by test number two, and then the rest follows. For this one, so sodium hydroxide must be the first one followed by ammonia because it is there. Suppose uh, sodium hydroxide was not here, then ammonia would be the first one. If ammonia solution is not here, sodium hydroxide will be the first one, then followed by the rest. So now we have a solution. We have a solution. Now to about 2 centimeters cube of solution of solution in one in, in test in test one add sodium hydroxide dropwise until in excess now this reminds me always remember it is only sodium hydroxide and ammonia solution ammonia solution that will be added drop waste until in excess did you hear what i said i said that sodium hydroxide it is only sodium hydroxide and ammonia solution ammonia hydroxide ammonia solution will be added drop waste until in excess and these two are actually used to test for amphoteric amphoteric uh, ions amphoteric ions there are three of them lead zinc and uh, aluminium lead zinc and aluminium now what are you supposed to observe you have not done the practical what kind of observation are you expected to write you know this is a zinc sulfate you know that the zinc is among the amphoteric so if we are adding a uh, sodium hydroxide then a uh, white ppt will be formed which will dissolve in excess soluble in excess so you may ask how do you know how would you tell that you are writing soluble in excess we have zinc zinc is an amphoteric therefore we expect it to dissolve and form a color solution in excess that's one so those are the things you need to to capture or to understand next the tube the test tube three here now we are adding to the to about two centimeters cube of solution in test one and the solution from the test one be the one we dissolved add ammonia you see i started with sodium hydroxide now i'm coming to ammonia solution ammonia solution drop wise until in excess until in, in excess now we are adding ammonia and we have zinc ions 
we know that the zinc in ammonia it forms a white precipitate which dissolve in excess therefore uh, white ppt is formed soluble in excess soluble in excess very good the next one is the last one now we are using our reagent lead nitrate so lead uh, to about two centimeters cube of solu of uh, solution in test one add two drops of lead nitrate remember other reagents we use drops but for sodium hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide or ammonia solution we add drop we start to drop waste until in excess so because now what kind of observation are you expecting here this is a red nitrate and this is zinc sulfate so this sulfate will combine with lead forming a white precipitate so you expect a white ppt so that is how you know which reagents comes first i don't know whether i have answered this question but if i am not you can also ask it i will try to explain in a different way thank you